3D printing can help a lot uh, if you would like to facilitate um, processes in your daily work. We use a lot 3D printing to produce um, patient models, bio models, to on the one hand explain the patient's complex surgical procedures, on the other hand we are able to plan um, surgical procedures by ourselves in a team. That means I, I just need a CT scan of you and I can produce an uh, exact replica, biomodel of your anatomy. And that helps us as uh, doctors um, a lot in our daily work. 3D printing is not a tool that can solve any problem, but actually it is something um, where you can get a very um, quick and easy start. I believe that 3D printing will bring a significant breakthrough in life science. So the future of life science, I believe, will be patient-focused, using patients' own biological material to create a solution dedicated for each individual and not a one-fits-all solution. I did also see the interest into this industry growing, more scientists working on the challenges to, to engineer artificial tissues, to bring the cell biology further. I believe that Basel has a unique ecosystem where engineering, biotechnology, pharmaceutical industry and clinical environment with the University Hospital comes together and therefore has a unique uh, position to, to enable breakthrough in that field. A lot of research is still needed, but I believe that bioprinting has a great potential to make a difference in, in life science. Today I would like to share that bioprinting is a very useful tool to develop in vitro models, which can um, consider the very specific and complex structure for human tissue in three dimension. In Switzerland, many universities and schools of applied science, they do already extensive work with bioprinters, which puts Switzerland in a very strong position. There are two uh, topics where 3D printing can make a difference in life science. Uh, first one is animal testing. We can reduce animal testing by 3D printing body parts on the chip. And the second point is uh, that uh, we can come against the shortage of organs by 3D printing organs in the future for patients. My key message today is we should use uh, biological cells to build human implants and not hard materials. Uh, you can use